Let's say I wanted to figure out what negative 2 plus negative 4 is equal to. There are a bunch of ways of thinking about them, but what we're going to do in this video is think about it using something called integer chips. So with integer chips, if I have a chip that, look like, that looks like this, a, a positive sign with a circle around, of it, <laughs> around it, that is equal to a positive one. And if I have a negative sign with a circle around it, that's a negative integer chip, and that's equal to negative 1. And of course, if I have exactly one positive integer chip and one negative integer, integer chip, well, then they're going to cancel out because positive 1 plus negative 1 is, of course, equal to 0. So let's use that to figure out this and several other problems. So negative 2, how can I represent that with integer chips? Well, that's going to be two of these negative integer chips. So negative 1 and then negative 2. And then negative 4 is going to be four of these negative integer chips. So negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and negative 4. So now, how many total negative integer chips do I have? I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's going to be six negative integer chips, or negative 6. Let's do another example. Let's say I now have positive 7 plus negative 6. How can I represent this with integer chips? Pause this video and think about it. Well, positive 7, you could view that as 7 of these positive integer chips. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And then negative 6, you can represent that as 6 of these negative integer chips. So we have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, and negative 6. Now we can use the fact that every positive integer, if you have a positive and a negative integer chip, well, positive 1 plus negative 1 is going to be equal to 0. So they cancel out. So those cancel. Those also add up to 0. Those also add up to 0. Those also add up to 0. Those add up to 0. Those add up to 0. So you have a bunch of zeros and then a positive 1. So all you're left with is a positive 1 here. So that's going to be equal to 1. Let's do another example. It's really helpful to see these different scenarios. Negative 5 plus 5. You might already suspect what that is and pause that video. Actually, try to represent it with integer chips. Well, negative 5, that's 5 of these negative integer chips. So that's 5 right there. And then positive 5 would be 5 of the positive integer chips. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And what's going to happen here? Well, those add up to 0, 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 those add up to 0. So you're just adding a bunch of zeros, which is, of course, going to give you a big 0. Last but not least, let's add 3 and negative 8. And let's represent that again with integer chips. So positive 3 is 1, 2, 3 positive integer chips. Negative 8 is, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 of these negative integer chips. And these cancel, these cancel. Let me scratch that out a little bit better. Those cancel, those cancel, and those cancel. So you have 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus what do you have left over? 5 of these negative integer chips. 5 negative integer chips, that's going to be equal to negative 5. And we're done.